Hello, I hope everyone's doing well. I want to share with you some projects I've been working on, some different puzzle mods. Uh, I made a previous video on how to make and solve a 5x5x4 i-cube or off-center cube. Um, uh, the puzzle in the video, I had just put some tape and made a mark. Um, then I got a blank Sheng Shao 5x5 and decided to do a little bit better job. Um, I used a simple modding technique to make pretty much any number of different bandaged cubes and it came out really well. Um, I do have a few a few regrets and a few things I would do differently but it turns well and I think these uh, bandaged pieces look really clean and I still need to sticker it and I'll sticker it and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I do that but basically I um used super glue to uh, bandage two pieces together and I disassembled the pu puzzle and then I added some more super glue and once that dried I used a uh, epoxy sculpt and I filled in I filled in the cracks and then I took a a file these were cheap files I bought at Home Depot and then I followed that up with some 220 grit sandpaper, 400, um, and then finally I used Scotch Bright, and I got that idea from watching Nathan Wilson's uh, videos. And uh, anyways, it came out really good. I mean, even. Even inside the puzzle, you can't see the seams of where these pieces are fixed together. But um, I, uh, I gave it a coat of spray paint because these bandaged pieces were looking really gray and sanded compared to the rest of the puzzle. So I wanted to even it out and give it some spray paint. My only regret with that is I'm not very good with spray paint. So it came out kind of clumpy in spots on the top and a little uneven and the puzzle has a sticky feel to it which I don't like but there are parts like this face right here where I held the can further away and gave it a much lighter coat and it came out really well and it's not as sticky um, so I probably won't spray paint any puzzles in the future and if I were to do it again and I needed to spray paint it it would be in an area where I wouldn't worry about wind and I would be a lot more careful. So anyways, um, I'll show you this when I'm done stickering it. I got some stickers from Chewy's and uh, they came out really well. Uh, I'm also going to show a little bit on how I designed the template to get those stickers cut. This was the first puzzle mod I ever made and that's just a cubic 4x4x2. Four by four by uh, I just got these stickers from Chewy's with the other stickers and they look really good. Obviously you can see where these pieces were super glued together. I did not do a more professional mod. I didn't want to disassemble this puzzle. And, uh, and I think the colors look great and uh, the puzzle functions just as I, I want it to so no complaints there um, I left the I left the white and yellow stickers um, they're the original stickers that came with the um, Rubik's 4x4 so yeah so that's cool um, now let me get on to the bigger and better mods that I'm working on because when I made this uh, it gave me some it gave me some great ideas to make some bigger puzzles and the first one I started working on was this this was a Sheng Shao 10 by 10 and I wanted to make a uh, cubic 6 by 8 by 10 and so similar to my 4 by 4 by 2 I'm just using super glue. I have no intention of disassembling such a 
huge puzzle and going through all that work to to make the pieces look perfect um, I'm sure it's worth it in the end but uh, I learned some things while I was doing it so I started out on this blue side and I was putting the super glue literally on the face where the stickers are gonna go um, not very smart um, later on I realized that like I bandaged these um, cubes together and I did that by just placing super glue in the cracks you you don't even need very much you know I kind of split the pieces open and use some super glue I've been using this super glue because it's uh it's not the gel and it's not quite the liquid it's it's right between I find it a really good consistency to to be able to work with uh, the Gorilla and my plan is to use this this sanding stick and kind of sand this down to so it'll be smoother um, yep I'm, I'm learning so so I I'm not surprised if I make a few mistakes along the way um, I'll try to clean this up the best I can and I'll let you know how it looks and it'll be a while before I sticker it but I, I will make a video when I finish it and it's completely stickered um, when I get stickers in the mail they'll probably be a little bit different color so I will have to remove all these and replace them all it's it's gonna be a pain but uh, it'll be it'll be worth it and so since I was making this one I thought why not just keep going why not go for a um, 4 by 6 by 8 and as you can see this puzzle is much smaller this is the uh, Moyu MFA I believe the cubing classroom and it turns really well and it's really small and as you can see I've uh, marked off where the bandaging is and I'm using a little bit better technique this time um, by not putting any super glue on the faces but I'm using a toothpick and I'll kind of split the, the layers with my nail and try to get in there with a drop of super glue on here and rub it between the two pieces and then hold it together um, when the layers are turned you know everything everything lines up so yeah that's that's working really well and I'll have to remove all the stickers and um, when that's done I will show you that in a future video but this is my current 4x6x8 um, it's a lot bigger it works well when when you really start scrambling it and changing shape um, some of the layers can be hard to turn and it gets kind of locked up because it's as you can see it's made with a uh, 3D printed extensions. And I've, I've noticed how these puzzles, how when you bandage the uh, edges, the uh, centers get really loose. I thought it might have just been this puzzle, but you know, it's the same thing here, but that's fine. Still works great. Once you give it a turn, everything locks back up tight so yeah cool uh, I hope you liked the video and uh, I'm going to I'm going to sticker this and I'm going to sand this and I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you um, just a little bit of how I make the template for the stickers so I just finished stickering this and I have to say I really like it uh, I don't regret spray painting it now because the stickers cover up most of the surface area and it doesn't have a sticky feel anymore and the stickers cover any of the uh, inconsistencies in the paint job I'm going to put it into a checkerboard pattern because it looks really cool 
I went with silver instead of white because when you make your own puzzle you can choose whatever color you like. That's really neat. I definitely recommend anyone looking to get into modding a puzzle to start with a bandaged puzzle. Uh, literally the possibilities are infinite. Uh, so here's the blank Sheng Xiao 5 by 5 that it started off as. And now I have this neat puzzle. So yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, I had thought about making the bandaging in, in these places and then stickering it like this. Um, to solve it though, I would have to um, put it in into a checkerboard type pattern like this so that all the bandaging was on this side. That's how you scramble it too. But then reduce the corners with all the uh, kind of opposite colors touching each other. And, and that was difficult. Uh, it was kind of fun though. So that's, that's always a possibility. This is a Meffert's bandaged cube. It's one of the first puzzles I got. Actually, this tile just came off as I started filming this. Um, as you can see, it's bandaged by, by tiles. So the mass-produced puzzles, bandaged puzzles, usually come with tiles and the tiles fall off. And this is the burr cube or wall cube. I lost some tiles and put some stickers on it. Um, the tiles have a good feel to them. It's it's not it's not a bad puzzle, but to go for a more professional look, I definitely recommend if you really like a bandaged puzzle and are fond of solving it a lot, to just go ahead and disassemble it and uh, glue and epoxy sculpt the pieces together. What's also really neat is that they now have kits. This is a bandaged cube kit. Um, I saw this, this is called a nightmare bandaged cube and it was, it was really hard. <laughs> I solved puzzles using beginner methods so there were a lot of interesting tricks and algorithms I had to learn to try to solve it. So this, this one's fun and you can place these tiles anywhere on the puzzle. They just pop right off. Um, takes a little force but yeah. Similar to like what I was showing you earlier is to solve this, it needs to be in a checkerboard pattern like this so that this freely rotates and then you can as so. So yeah, so that's cool. I finished uh, smoothing out these sides where I got super glue on them. So yeah, that was a mistake. But I think once I sticker it, it'll look okay. Um, you know, the little flaws in the puzzle will just give it character. I think once I sticker it and show you, it'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> so yeah, so let me show you the sticker template for this 10 by 10. Okay, so this is the sticker template for the 6x8x10 I'm making out of the Shangshao 10x10. Um, this printout is not to scale and I don't really know how to do screen captures so this is the best way for me to show it to you. I designed this on SolidWorks. Um, I'm sure you can use other programs like AutoCAD and Inventor. Um, basically you just make a drawing and you include a height and width dimension of the puzzle and save it as a DXF file and that way when you send it off to a place that makes stickers they can use that file to cut out your stickers and I've included up here how many of the face I want and what color and so yeah that's really cool it makes uh, getting custom stickers really easy um, you just need some basic knowledge of how to create these drawings. 
Uh, one more thing I wanted to tell you was that I use a tool like this to remove old stickers. It works really well. Uh, you just got to be careful because it is a razor blade. And you don't want to destroy your fingers or your puzzles. Just like that. And it also works good if you accidentally uh, glue some pieces together that you're not supposed to. Just quickly pop them apart. Thanks for watching.